30,991 pound in one month, like really in one month from Amazon to eBay dropshipping. And I know you are thinking, okay, well, this is one of those guys He's making a video about how to make hundred pound a day. And he gonna just click and pay it and tell us what we know already. And he gonna be out of here. No, it's not that video. Come on. In this video, I'm gonna prove it to you that somebody is actually doing that. They are making 30,900 and 91 that's why the number is very precise i'm actually going to show you on a screen and you will be able to go check it yourself and verify by yourself as well that's the first thing the second thing i'm going to show you how amazon to ebay drop shipping actually works i'm going to give you each and every detail in this particular video as well and all you have to do my friend literally all you have to do because i have a target for this particular video that i want to get 10 subscribers and this is completely free i'm gonna track i'm gonna watch you so hit the subscribe button and the like button as well and watch this video all the way to end because i'm gonna break down each and everything as a step-by-step -step guide so the way amazon to ebay dropshipping works it very simple i'm gonna share my screen and i'm gonna show you with examples so you can understand what do i mean by that so right here you can see i am at amazon this watch right here is being sold for 84 pound on amazon right here and if i go to ebay same watch you can see the same brand same picture each and everything is being sold for 117 pound and this one of that already has been sold as well so this product is selling on a consistent basis look at the seller right here you can check yourself as well no problem whatsoever so they found something which is cheaper on amazon they are listing the same product onto ebay but they are selling it for the higher price and obviously once they receive the order they are just simply going on Amazon and they are ordering it for the customer. Simple. Another example, this product right here, this is a, a, a some kind of tablet case, is being sold for $39.99 and the same product that you can see on to eBay, one of that already has been sold for 58 pound and 49 pence right here. And you can see the seller information right here as well. Another product, which I'm gonna show you right here, just giving you example how it works, is this one right here, is being sold for 45 on Amazon and the same product on eBay is being sold for 65 right here and one of that already has been sold and here is the seller and you might be thinking well you know it's only one like you know one of that only three products like how much profit they are making you said 30,000 pound where they are making 30,000 pound the seller which I show you right here, you can see right here. If you look at their account, and I did some test on their account as well, they are making 30,991 in the terms of sales. That's right here. Let's say in a worst case scenario, they have sold like 841 products and uh, 36 uh, is the average price on their store as well. Now, let's say in a worst case scenario, they are only making 20% profit margin on the item which they are selling. We are thinking about worst case scenario. I show you the examples as well. What is the 20% of 30,000 pound? We are talking about 6,000 pound profit every single month. And all they are doing is just simply ordering the, the the items for the customer whenever they are receiving order on ebay they are not investing any money up front they are just doing click here and click here and that's how simply they are making money and this is how amazon to ebay drop shipping works now the question is like if you want to get started with amazon to ebay drop shipping where are you gonna find these product and how you're gonna list them and how you're gonna fulfill the order. And this is what I'm gonna break down each and everything. First of all, let's say you need to find these product, which I given you example right here, that this product right here, you know, this product right here. If you need to find it manually, obviously you can find those, but that gonna take time. And then you have to come back to Amazon right here. You're gonna copy the title, you're gonna copy the picture, copy the description, and you're gonna list that item onto your eBay store. 
But what if that Amazon seller right here will actually increase the price? What we will do then? And the customer already ordered on eBay. Amazon seller increased the price or maybe item is going out of stock. How are we going to manage each and everything as well? So that's the reason we use some kind of drop shipping software. But in this particular video, I'm going to talk about the one you can use, which is a beginner friendly is called Delato and it is a known API software as well. Okay, well, non API confused again, like, okay, but what do you mean by non API? Almost all the software in the market, the way they work, like you need to link your eBay account with the software. And once you need to do the listing, then they use a connection, which we call an API connection to send that listing over to your eBay account. So let's say you are on to Amazon listing right here. If you need to list the item and the software is using some kind of API and it is connected with your eBay store, then it's going to use that connection and it's going to send that listing information over to eBay. Now, the problem with the API software is that once you are using them, there is a chance your account get banned. That's the problem a lot of people come across as well. The reason if you are a beginner and you want to get started with the dropshipping software, I recommend starting from the Lato because it's a, a semi-automatic. They don't have like an API connection. So, that's the difference between the Lato and the other softwares as well. Of course, it can keep an eye on a stock. It can keep an eye on a prices, each and everything. So I'm going to go inside of the Lato. I'm going to show you step by step how I actually use the Lato. And if you're new and you don't want to get your account banned, then the Delato is a software that you can use. I'm going to show you how to find the products, how to list them, how to check the prices, stock, and how to fulfill the order. I'm going to cover each and everything. So let me show you. So here we are on uh, a Delato website. I'm going to leave the link for that inside the description along with the coupon code, which will give you discount as well. So right here, once you will come, it will ask you to put your name, email address, password, all that kind of stuff as well. I already have an account, but just for the sake of showing you, I'm going to show you how to do that quickly as well. So this is all understood. I'm quickly going to fill up this information. So when you come to this page right here, you need to put your uh, eBay name. It, it doesn't really matter. You can put anything you want. It doesn't have to be exact name. Your phone number, your address, all that kind of stuff as well. So and then you just simply click on next right here. So the on to the next page right here, the Lato going to ask you how many listings you want to do per month. And it depends on, I really like about it. If you don't do a lot of listing, you can start with 250 and that will be 23.99, including VAT. So once you hit that, click next. And now it's going to ask you, what is your stored location right here? So for me, it's already right like eBay.co.uk and Amazon.co.uk. Just simply click on next. And then it's going to have the ask you to put the PayPal email. It doesn't really matter if you don't have a PayPal. You just need to put like the, the registration email that you use for your eBay account. So simply put that and you will be fine. Now on to the next page is going to ask you to put your postcode and it's going to ask you to put your town. On to the next page right here. This is here you need to put your card detail and you can, if you have a coupon where I, you, I'm going to link that inside the description, which will give you discount. So you need to put that right here and it will reduce the price. And after that, once you will pay, then you will have access to the software. So once you're going to log into your Delato account, this is how each and everything going to look like. The first thing that we need to do is to come on to your name right here. This is my name. So obviously your account going to have your name. We need to do some settings inside the Delatos. And after that, just simply click on store settings right here. This is just to tell Delato like how much profit margin you want to make at the end of day. So the profit markup, which I will suggest you get started with 15%. If you want to make more, that's fine. But start with like a less profit margin and you can always increase from there. The next thing eBay fee is by default is going to be 12%. I'm going to leave it right there as well. So you don't need to change it. This one, PayPal fee, same thing. And again, leave this one as well. PayPal fee fix as well. Even though eBay doesn't charge PayPal fee nowadays as well. But I just leave it like that because because it's going to deduct that and then obviously your overall profit will be higher. Now, how much item, how many items you want to list? 
like I will normally start with two. So if I see, let's say this item on Amazon, and if I want Delato to do the listing on my eBay account, then it's gonna list two of these items as well. So that's why the setting is right there. Now the next one is round up to the nearest. So let's say the price for something, uh, you know, it's five pound or five pound or five pence. Do you wanna round it up? Let's say add 99p on the top as well. I just, you know, I just leave it at zero because most of the time the price is going to be, let's say, 55.99, those type of stuff as well. So that already looks better. So I just leave it that to zero. And the next one, you're going to put your item location. You're going to put your, you know, city right here. You're going to put your PayPal email address right here. And then the rest of each and everything, to be honest with you, I just leave it. I don't really fill these why buy from us. Nobody, no buyer really go and read these things as well so i will just leave the way they are if you want to fill up something these are the things which will be listed inside your description every time when so you're going to list the item as well now onto the main dashboard right here now obviously if you need to start listing the product you can add the product like manually as well but the lato offered a service which called uh product hunted right here in a product hunter there is something called gold asin so what the gold asins are you can pay the lato team to actually hand pick the products for you so if you want them to pick the product for you it only gonna cost you 5p per, per item like to be honest with you it completely worth the price at the end of day as well so if you want to let's say you don't know how to do your own product research you can buy this service so let's say i'm gonna go with the i want i have only 15 allowance left so i can do 15 right here and this only gonna cost me 75p to get started with the 15 items so you can start with as many items you want that is entirely up to you so i'm gonna put my card details right here i'm gonna pay 75p so once you want to pay 75p like depending on how much how many products you are buying you're amount might be different it's gonna ask you are you sure you want to buy 15 gold asins so you're just simply gonna click on okay and once you pay for it it's gonna say payment succeed your page will be deloaded so you just simply click on that one and then your pay your page will be deloaded now the product that you have bought it's gonna show up in your inventory right here but if you have recently bought the item then your inventory might be empty so the one i have right here these are the one which i previously purchased and some of them are listed onto my ebay store already so it takes a little time for the latter to actually add these products inside your dashboard so you can see my products right here but your dashboard might be completely empty so it take about 24 hours sometime it take less than that for these products to actually show up right here as well so now the thing is like you want to let's say list some of the product you can you can select all of them like for example just simply click on select all in a page and then all of these product will be selected but if you want to choose some of them like you don't want to like you know list all of them you can you can choose some item and you can list those item only so now what do i need to do is just simply once i select them i can just simply click on product creation csv that's the option right here so once you're going to click on product creation csv you can just simply click on ok and then it will download a csv file inside your computer once that csv file is downloaded you can actually go simply back to your ebay account so inside the ebay account what you need to do just simply come into your seller central and just simply click on reports and then you can just simply click on upload template once you're gonna click on upload template it's gonna ask you to choose a file so here you need to upload a file that you downloaded from from uh, the lato so in my case this is the one right here so i'm gonna upload that csv file so the product which i downloaded from the lato they're gonna be listed right here so as soon as you're gonna click on that one it's gonna say in process but you can come back like literally in five minutes and then it's gonna show you that these products are listed so now you can see right here that all of these products which i taken out from the lato in the csv file all of them are simply listed right here now we're just gonna 
you know, what we need to do is we need to link these products back to Delato right here. So if something happened, then obviously we have a listing actually paid as well. So this time, what you need to do inside your eBay account, you just simply go to your report section again so inside the report section you just need to click on report and then this time you need to click on downloads right here so once you're going to click on download then you can just simply click on download the report and then you can actually click on source and then you need to select listings right here so once you're going to select listing and you can switch up, uh, the, the type right here, which will be all active listing right here. And then you will be able to download the report from the eBay file right here. So if I download that one, you come back to Delato right here. And from here, what you need to do this time is just simply click on inventory and then you're going to click on pair products right here so once you're going to click on pair products right here this is where you need to actually upload the file which you downloaded from ebay now and as soon as you're going to click on upload then all the products which you have listed from the lato to your ebay store now they're going to be syncing up together so now you have listed the products from the lato you took one file from the lato uploaded on ebay and you took one one file from eBay and you download it back to the Lato and now everything is linking up. Now what you need to do, let's say the stock change or the price change or something like that happened. What you need to do is just simply go back in the Lato right here, select all the products which you have listed and then you can just simply click on a price and stock CSV and you need to click on a without title and description. So this time it only gonna look for the price and look for the stock changes as well. So you're gonna download this file from the Lato and you're gonna go back to your eBay this time and what you need to do on to eBay we're just gonna simply click on uploads again and inside the upload now what you want to do click on upload a template and this is where you're gonna just simply upload a template again and it's gonna just simply look after all the the stock level and the prices as well so now let's talk about how to process the order once you receive the order on the product which you have listed from the lato so the way to do it you just simply come back to your listings right here whenever you're going to receive an order this custom sku number also going to show up so every time this sku number is is actually a ASIN number on Amazon. So you can always copy that, come back to your eBay, uh, so the Amazon right here, paste that one right here, and then the product is going to just simply show up. From here, you can just simply, you know, the way you normally place the order on Amazon, but this time the only difference will be that you're gonna be using the buyer address. So Amazon can actually deliver the products straight to the buyer. That's the only difference is going to be at this time as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the link for the Lato inside the description. They do have a Discord group as well. So they have a great community over there. If you are struggling, with something you need any kind of help you can always ask inside their discord thank you so much for watching and i see you soon